But the interesting about these cardfish also, the male actually has all the color. You see a male coming past here on the starboard side. This is so they can attract a female. Now they actually live in a harem of about that. Seven females to one male. So the male has a big responsibility. He has performed up to 10 to 20 mating rituals a day. However, once he dies from overexertion at a very young age, he still have a big smile on his face though. <laughs> but once he goes, what happens is a weird part. They will actually try, the, all these seven females try to find another mate, another, another male, and they can't find one. In their group, they look for the most dominant female, and this dominant female will leave the group. And within three hours, he will come back to the group. He will change color, change size, and change gender becomes a new dominant male. So the parrot fish are actually sequential hermaphrodite. Most fish can't change gender, but a parrot fish is one of the only fish that can change gender up to three times in its entire life. So if there is a more dominant male that comes back into this group, this new male and the dominant male will actually fight. Whoever loses will lead the group again, change color, change gender, and comes back to the group. Sequential hermaphrodite or a transfish knife. You've probably seen something similar to this if you ever watch Jerry Springer show. <laughs>